Hello, my name is Juho Iski. I'm from the Acoustics Lab of the Auto University, Espoo, Finland. I'm here to present our paper, Equalization of Wood Panel Loudspeakers, that we have written with my co-authors Jussi Reme and Vesa Valimäki, also from the Auto University, and Otso Lähdioja from the Sibelius Academy, Helsinki, Finland. The topic of our paper is a three orchestra. It is a sound installation in Heureka, which is a Finnish science center. The orchestra consists of four wood panels, each containing two actuators. The photo here shows the finalized installation, and the panels, which are from left to right, maple, spruce, apple tree, and gold willow. Uh, the loudspeakers are used to play original music, and one instrument is assigned to each panel. The audience has controls over the playback, so they can select which music piece is playing and also adjust the volume of each loudspeaker individually. Our paper describes the measurement and equalization of the wood panel loudspeakers. And first, I'm going to describe the measurements. So, the frequency responses of all four loudspeakers were measured in the non chamber. We used five microphones and the locations were approximating the audience locations. Two microphones were at zero degrees at different heights, so at 1.6 meters and 1 meters, and these were used to approximate the adult listener and a child listener. Two microphones were at plus minus 30 degrees, and they approximated the width of the listening area, and one final microphone was at 90 degree angle. Bottom figure here shows an example response from the gold pillow panel. As we can see, it's, it is not flat, and furthermore, it contains lots of small resonances from the panels itself. So, that determined our aim. Firstly, we want to improve the overall sound quality, and secondly, we don't want to attenuate the wood resonances. Next, I'm going to explain the equalizer design. We chose to use a bark band graphic equalizer with 24 bands. Uh, we choose the specific equalizer for its ac accuracy, so it takes the band interaction into account and delivers exactly the target curve the user is aiming for. And secondly, it is really efficient since it utilizes a neural network to optimize the gains. Also, we tested two different design schemes for the equalizer, a single point and a multipoint. The single point it was a design utilized the measurement of a one microphone at the front to derive the equalizer, whereas the multipoint utilizes the four microphone responses at the front of the loudspeaker. Here we can see an example of those two for the maple panel. And due to the asymmetry Asymmetric radiation patterns, the multipoint design was sort of smoothed out and the resulting equalizer doesn't do much. Whereas the single point design offers much more larger corrections, gains and attenuations, and therefore we chose to use that. The single point design is suitable for our application since the Listening area isn't that wide, so there aren't too many people listening at the same time. And here we have some results. Uh, the responses here have been measured with the front microphone, and we use one sixth octave smoothing. On the left hand side, we have the original responses measured from the apple tree, goat, willow, maple, and spruce panels, and on the right, we have the equalized versions. The original measurements show that the responses are not flat, maybe apart from the spruce panel. For example, the apple tree radiates well, uh, the frequency is around 1 kHz, but the responses, response attenuates when going towards the low or high frequencies. Now, when the equalizers are used, the measurements show that we obtain nice and flat responses. Well, the overall shape is much flatter, but we still retain the resonances and the repo of the original measurements. Uh, the shape is much better for all panels, and thus we achieve our aim of uh, improving the overall sound quality, while also uh, 
preserving the resonances. Here we have some measurements from other directions. In this case, a plus 30 degree at 1.6 meter height and 0 degree 1 meter height. The responses are plotted at the same figure with offsets and the order is here apple, goat willow, maple, spruce from top to bottom. As we can see, the responses are rather flat, but for example, in the A figure uh, and apple, the top, topmost plot, the high frequencies are boosted a bit too much. But this is better than the original case. Also, with the sort of child microphone responses on the right, the responses are quite flat, but uh, not as good as the higher microphone. So at the previous slide, but we're happy with the results nonetheless. And finally, we have a couple sound examples. We took the measured impulse response of the original maple panel and the equalized maple panel and convoluted this with a pink noise segment. Uh, on the left, we have the original one. We can see the frequency response. And on the right, we have the equalized one with its frequency response. First, I'm going to play the original one. And now the equalized one. And as you probably can hear, there's quite a large difference and overall the difference is a good one. We have some more sound examples available online and the link can be found in the paper. That's all and thank you for your attention.